India has once again thrown its hat into the ring for the Philippine Air Force's PAF multi-role fighter MRF acquisition project with a robust offer that could significantly impact the modernization of the PAF. According to a report by the Indian Defense Research Wing, India has submitted a bid for the acquisition project, proposing the delivery of 40 Tejas MK-1A light combat aircraft over a four to five year payment schedule. The deal is estimated to be worth between five United States dollars and 30 cents to 7.1 billion, depending on the final configuration and support packages included. The proposed deal by India comes with a unique offer that includes the BrahMos Ing armed, naval optimized variant of the LCA Tejas MK-1A fighter jet. The BrahMos NG, next generation, is a cutting-edge air-launched cruise missile currently under development. Weighing 1.3 tons, this missile is expected to be a formidable addition to the LCA Tejas MK-1A's arsenal, offering the Philippines a significant leap in its defense capabilities. Although the BrahMos Ing is slated for production clearance by 2028, its inclusion in the offer highlights India's innovative approach to meeting the Philippines' stringent requirements for advanced weaponry. This is not the first time that India has made a push to supply the PAF with Tejas jets. Just a few months ago, India offered a comprehensive package that not only included the delivery of the Tejas MK-1 but also proposed the local assembly of the aircraft through the Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation. PADC. This earlier proposal was seen as a strategic move to bolster the Philippines' domestic aerospace industry while providing the PAF with a modern, indigenous fighter platform. The latest bid from India raises questions about whether this is simply a reiteration of the previous offer or if additional incentives have been introduced to sweeten the deal. The inclusion of local assembly in the initial proposal was seen as a significant advantage, potentially fostering technological transfer and boosting local employment. However, it remains to be seen if the new offer builds on these aspects or introduces new elements that could make the Tejas MK-1A more attractive to the PAF. The Tejas MK-1A, an upgraded variant of the Tejas MK-1, is a light combat aircraft that boasts advanced avionics, improved radar, and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities. It is designed to be a cost-effective yet capable fighter, offering flexibility in a variety of mission profiles, from air defense to ground attack. India's aggressive marketing of the Tejas MK-1A to international customers reflects its confidence in the aircraft's capabilities and its desire to secure a foothold in the Southeast Asian defense market. As the PAF continues to evaluate its options for the MRF project, India's proposal will likely be considered alongside other bids from established defense contractors. The PAF has been seeking to modernize its aging fleet and enhance its air defense capabilities, with the MRF project being a key component of this strategy. However, the decision-making process is complex involving not only technical evaluations but also considerations of cost, financing options, strategic partnerships, and potential offsets. The Department of National Defense DND, and the PAF are expected to weigh the merits of India's offer carefully. While the Tejas MK-1A may be a relatively new platform in comparison to other contenders like the American F-16 or the Swedish Gripen, it offers a compelling balance of capability and affordability. Moreover, India's willingness to accommodate a flexible payment schedule could be a crucial factor, especially given the financial constraints that many countries face in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the broader context, India's bid reflects its growing ambitions as a defense exporter and its desire to deepen ties with the Philippines, a key player in the Southeast Asian region. Should the PAF choose the Tejas MK-1A, it would mark a significant milestone in India-Philippines defense relations and potentially pave the way for future collaborations in defense technology and aerospace development. As of now, 
The DND and PAF have not officially disclosed the details of the ongoing evaluation process or indicated a timeline for the final decision. However, given the strategic importance of the MRF project, it is likely that all offers will be scrutinized thoroughly, with the final choice being made based on a combination of factors, including the aircraft's performance, cost-effectiveness, and the broader implications for the Philippines' defense posture. India's bid, with its potential for local assembly and a flexible payment scheme, certainly adds an interesting dimension to the competition. Whether this will be enough to sway the decision in favor of the Tejas MK-1A remains to be seen, but it undoubtedly positions India as a serious contender in the race to modernize the PAF's fighter fleet.